Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. Today is one of the biggest football matches of the entire year, the Champions League Final. We've got two potential end of their SBCs on the horizon, each for a German legend finishing their playing days today. Somebody's got to get an SBC today, right? Will it be them is the question. And of course, ultimate team of the season, guys, some cold content yesterday, to be completely honest. And the most unbelievable thing is the price drops on these cards that were re-released. Guys, we have so much to cover today. Drop a thumbs up on the video if you're excited for it. And subscribe if you're new. Let's get into Ultimate Team of the Season. And what's going to happen today on the UCL Final Saturday. Let's go to objectives first because there's a couple of things in here to cover really quickly. Of course, we love a good daily play objective for some extra packs and those TOTS guarantee packs. Guys, we need these. TOTS cards are going up on the market, the fodder ones, right? Because there's a lot of SBCs requiring them. Make sure to get these done at every place you can in the objective section. You get one, of course, for completing the daily play this week. Nice packs there, of course, as always. We have a TOTS champs bonus once again, too. This time, instead of a Fakir here or an Aspili Quetta, we have some more player picks. It's got to be the most sweaty weekend league of the entire year with so many rewards and so many elite rewards, right? Up for grabs with the ultimate tots cards and reds and now extra red picks here for getting eight to 16 wins. So definitely more of a um, upper echelon tiered reward, but that is still very solid and pushing people to get more wins. And then of course, you got an end of an era, Julie Sawyer. If you're needing D1 or Kema Links, right, left back in the side, five foot five, 99 shot power, some decent stats here. Pretty easy to get done. I, it's the little things though, right? I like the little the write up here. With more than 350 games and D1 Arkema, complete this, right? Kind of cool. A little bit of a background of why they're choosing some of those players in those end of an era. So we're getting more of those today for sure based off of the news that we have about the end of an era and the flashbacks. Not necessarily a bunch of leaks yet for those, just uh, some hints, which we'll cover a little bit later in the video. Now, instead of going to SBCs right away, let's go to Evolutions because we had a silver Evo yesterday, guys which is making a ton of cards go up in price. This is actually a W in my opinion. Yeah, of course, it's not creating the most stupid overpowered players as you possibly could have from a silver up to a 95 rated tots card, but this Haroldson, Dragison, Cole Palmer, and a legend of FIFA, Jeremy Menez. I haven't seen this guy in the game all year long. His card looks pretty decent apart from the pace. The problem with this is it really... What is this evolution suited for? Is it suited for a striker? Is it suited for a midfielder? You get press proven, rapid, and first touch plus with some other play styles along the way. Kind of feels like more of a midfielder, but also not entirely sure evolution, right? Just put somebody in that's fun for you. It's free. There's a lot of insane upgrades here. I actually need to go through and sell some of these cards out of my club. Like this Depreville, Dragason, and Haroldson, they're all up a lot on the market. I even think I had the guy from Brighton um, and, and CISO, I think his name is. He's up a ton on this market as well as one of the, yeah, and CISO right here because his card looks crazy as a Premier League linking player. 95 left mid. I think he's 5'5". Five, five. Okay, he's 5'4". 99 dribble, 96 pace, 95 shooting. You know what this kind of gives me the vibes of? It gives me the Goncalo... Goncalo Guedes, that's how I'm trying to say it. Goncalo Guedes vibes from one of those Evos earlier on in team of the season. You get some really, really crazy stats on a random silver card from your club. So find somebody who's emotional for you from your club, from your country, or whatever it may be. Somebody who links in your team that you just want to try and get one of these Evos done. Be careful as always on footbin though, guys, because like this Cole Palmer Evo... You can't get this one. He's not 95 rated because the cut inside evolution is no longer there. Cole Palmer is extinct. People think you get this 95 rated version. You can actually only get a 91 rated version from this evolution because cut inside is not there. So don't fall prey to some of those um, unbelievable evolutions that are on footband. So we take that. And then champs corner three, another boost to red player pick cards in your club. Another upgrade for Fakir, who's definitely going to be the one that I upgrade from this. This Evo is actually geared more towards a midfielder or a defender, but I'm going to go with Fakir for the 96 rated for sure. He looks pretty good. Uh, some additional passing, dribbling, and defensive stats for free there on any of your TOTS player picks that fit. So Evo's yesterday, good. Not great, but good. Guys, the better content was once again in the SBC section. And I would go to the SBCs, but I've completed them already. If we're talking about the player SBCs, we have got Tiago Silva and Felipe Anderson. First off, the Tiago Silva card. 
He's always good in this game, guys. The price of the SBC is decent. A lot of people, I think, are liking this SBC because it's Thiago Silva and they know how overpowered he always is, right? 3-3, high, high work rates, anticipate plus, power header plus, and jockey plus. He's going to be very, very good in game. He's got 97 reactions, 97 composure, great short and long pass. 80 acceleration. He is not the paciest off of the get-go, but 99 offensive awareness um, along with some other really great defending stats. The only problem with this card is he's not going to win as many, many aerial duels. He's six foot. He does have aerial and power header plus, but he's not going to win as many aerial duels when he comes up against somebody like Sorloth or Giroud or even Josalu, right? That showdown card that a lot of people are hoping gets upgraded today. I think if you're going to do this Thiago Silva, you got to play him alongside somebody who can win those aerial duels. Um, you know, maybe like Konate or like VVD, somebody who's taller in defense so that you don't lose out on those because that is a very... A very popular way to play this game right now was the crosses, right? With Drogba and everything. So that's one thing that's kind of detracting from the hype of Thiago Silva. But to be completely honest, guys, it's a great SBC. It's 88% upvoted on Footbin, and the card itself has a ton of thumbs up because it's not a bad price, to be honest. If this Thiago Silva was on the market as like a Tots card or something, I think he would be this much. It's cheaper than Saliba or before Saliba. Uh, before this SBC was released, the price is cheaper than Saliba was. So, you know, that's there. For Thiago Silva, it's a W. So I'm excited to try him out in game and then felipe anderson not one but two end of an eras yesterday high high work rates five star four star i've been using felipe anderson cards for ages i remember like ones to watch felipe anderson way back when that might have been like fifa 19 or fifa 20 what a card that was we've got uh power shot plus whipped pass and a rapid on his card he actually fits into my team really well now that i've situated a few things here because i was looking for an attacker that could also play right center mid and i think he's going to be that guy for me because he's high high work rates and he has 80 defending so it might actually be decent uh, as a box to box with 88 interceptions and 84 stand tackles but also very good attacking wise with the left stick dribbling the shooting and the passing is good 99 stamina as well so hey a fun card for 120 130,000 coins uh brazilian links as well and if you are still running some syria tots cards very easy to get into a team with the syria and brazilian links there so Two decent SBCs yesterday. Thiago Silva is probably the most hyped of the two, but two pretty solid ones right there and more to come. That's the exciting part, right? The flashback and the end of an airs are going to be coming out each and every day. And that's why there's a lot of hype for those. Now, let's go to the upgrade packs because we had two upgrade pack SBCs yesterday. The first one being the 82 plus major leagues double upgrade. The biggest question right now, if you're grinding the menus, is... Should you do the 82 plus e-figs or should you do the 82 plus play your pick? This is eight golds and two, uh, two rare, the rest common. This is six golds, I believe. Is it six golds? Six golds and you need four rares. So it's a very high number of rares compared to normal. Um, but you do not need as many golds in total, only six. So I don't know, guys. I'm trying a couple of these. I have not packed any team of the seasons from them yet. And of course, this is giving you those top five major leagues. The best chance of packing a team of the season from those, some of those main players, would be from this pack. It's really tough to say what's better to do, the 82 double or to do the 82 plus pick. I would say mix and match both. Run some of both. If you have more commons, hit the 82 plus player pick. If you find yourself with a lot more rares in your club, maybe you hit an 82 double and just test them out and see which ones you have better luck on, to be completely honest. I like that you take two players home from the 82 double, but we all know 82 plus player picks are always very good. So it's kind of a mix and match. Try whichever one that works for you. The 82 doubles, I didn't get any blues from. 82 plus player picks, probably tough to get blues from as well. I'll be doing both. We also had the live tots upgrade yesterday, which this came out of nowhere guys and here's part of the issue i have actually a big problem with this sbc not the fact that it was released i think it's it's decent right it's a how much is this sbc it's a fifty-eight thousand coin sbc but that is actually cap unless you have a live tots card in your club which most people do but obviously not everybody does because if you go to the market and you look at live team of the season cards and their prices there are so many of them that are extinct on the market. The cheapest live tots card right now is Zaha for 150,000, like 34K for Albert. Boom, into the snipe, right? So many of the fodder live tots cards 
are extinct because EA does this. And it frustrates me every single time they do this. Why do they require cards for SBCs out of the blue that they know are going to go crazy? Because sure, a lot of people have live TOTS players in their clubs. Like I had four or five. I had a leftover buyer, a weaver, maybe even like a Turlan was in my club, right? And I'm sure a lot of you guys did as well. But not everybody has those. They have to know that if they're going to require players for SBCs, they have to supply that. But this happens every year, so I'm also, in a sense, not surprised. So if you have any of these in your club, would you? Would there be any reason, reason to wait on selling them? In my opinion, no. Like I sold an Otomeni that was on my transfer list that I had bought for 20,000 coins for like 40K. So I would just take the cash. And if you're trying to do this SBC and you can't get a live TOTS card, the best advice I can give you is try to get a guaranteed TOTS pack from somewhere in objectives or whatever if you haven't got all those opened just open those because there's actually a pretty high chance you'll pack one of the fodder live tots cards from that uh, it's just unfortunate that that's the state of this sbc and sure it's a fun gamble sbc because you could pack somebody like asm modric doku bruno i opened it yesterday and i got weaver so it was pretty mid, but guys, that's the kind of stuff you can expect during ultimate team of the season is more tots upgrade packs like that. So live tots upgrade packs, maybe some more of the specific league guarantees and some other tots player picks. There should be plenty of opportunity to try to pack team of the season this week in some of the best upgrade packs of team of the season so far. It is by the way, ultimate tot so that should mean some of the almost ultimate sbcs right we'll get into that when we talk about today's content let's talk about now the rest of stuff that dropped yesterday namely the ultimate tots team it feels like there's a few names that are missing from this tot squad but it's an overall pretty solid team and just to clear some things up we were mentioning in yesterday's video that maybe they were gonna kind of um separate the releases and do some of them on yesterday on friday and then some on sunday ea said nope we're dropping all at one time they took neymar out of packs icardi out of packs from the mixed leagues team five and they just said you know what all of ultimate tots is in i have no problem with that we were just wondering how it was going to break down and uh that's how ea is breaking it down they're just dropping it all at one time it's a solid team i don't know i mean the pack weight also seems to be maybe a little bit better than i was expecting um because of how much the prices have dropped I mean, sure, there was a lot of saved up packs yesterday that people were waiting to open for Ultimate Team of the Season, but with how much these prices are getting rocked on some of these cards, it is obvious that these cards are at least halfway packable. And I was tweeted yesterday plenty of times about plenty of cards that people are packing. Like, Chowinga was 2.1 million coins a week ago. 2.1 mil. Yesterday alone, she went from 1.4 and she's now 600k like that is she dropped in half like 50 percent and more drops on a lot of these team of the season cards some of them are even minimum price and that's the most annoying thing like ea messed up these price ranges literally last night um lewandowski was four five hundred thousand coins yeah and now he's minimum 301 and his minimum wasn't 301 before same thing with debinha um yeah there's a lot of cards be very careful there are so many cards right now basha as well hemp that are not selling at their minimum price because their price ranges are too high but like yeah you look at all these Vinny's three mil i feel like he was just six million coins oh yeah that's because he was last friday and now he went yesterday from how much 4.7 all the way down to 3.7 where he is now guys these cards are down horrendous will they rebound i know a lot of people are looking at this and saying oh my gosh nate i can finally afford team of the season x y and z player that i've been wanting to buy for ages can i buy it now for my team here's what i would tell you yes it is amazing to be able to afford some of these elite tier ultimate team of the season cards because they've been re-released i would imagine though they are going to continue to drop during the weekend they are in packs for the whole rest of the week and still right now um this supply is pretty fresh and there's a lot of demand some people that maybe are buying these and trying them out and weekend league and using the cards the prices are going to drop they're going to fluctuate though like they're going to move up and down because we even saw that yesterday, right? Phil Foden was as low as 800,000 coins, went back up to 930K. And look where Phil Foden is right now. He's back into the 800K range, 840. So there's going to be fluctuations, ups and downs. But overall, I think that most of all of these Ultimate Tots cards will be lower tomorrow, even Monday, even Tuesday. So if you're waiting to use a card for champs, what I would tell you to do is Buy the card when you want to go play champs. Just do not hold on to it for long and sell that card because these card prices are probably going to keep 
dropping. Now, again, just a quick word about the pack weight. I know a lot of people had crazy packs yesterday, right? A lot of us were saving stuff from the season and all of that. All the good packs like the 88.3s and the 87.4s or 5s, whatever it was yesterday from the objectives and stuff, the best pull that I had yesterday was a dupe Mares, Dupe, Basha, Golovin, and Zavio. I packed four yesterday, which is good. I was I was very happy to pack four Ultimate Tots cards, but they were all duplicates, and that is what was a little bit frustrating for me. Still have an 83 times 20, but I'm saving that because I'm waiting for more end of an era SBCs today on this game. And uh, guys, one thing to mention is with how much the Ultimate Tots cards are dropping, it's going to make the rest of the market drop as well. I know that some of these TOTS, card had, TOTS cards had really big spikes, right? And this was one thing that we talked about yesterday specifically was during that start of week and league time frame, that was going to be the best time to buy these cards. Like Dybala went from 1.6. He didn't get into Ultimate TOTS. He went all the way to 1.9. He's 1.6, under 1.6 right now yet again. Giroud, I think, was even over 600K. What did he go to yesterday? He was 540 and then bang, went all the way to 615 and now he's back down to 550. The rest of the market is going to be impacted by how much these card prices are dropping. Who wants to pay 800K for, um, you know, maybe like Tots Moments Goretzka when you can pay now 480K for Tots Rice? You know what I'm saying? It's going to end up dragging the whole rest of the market down with it. These ultimate Tots prices as cheap as they get, because again, people are going to do that exact same thing and say, wait a second. Why do I have to pay like Alfonso Davies moments yesterday? I sold them for 900,000 coins. People are maybe not going to want to pay 900k for this Davies card anymore because the new Grimaldo is, oh, 400,000 coins, right? Or not the new Grimaldo, but Grimaldo is now that much cheaper. I think it's going to impact the rest of the market. I'd be very, very careful with out of packs TOTS cards now as well. It's going to start to impact the market. Now, yesterday, like we saw with that Dybala graph, there were some really, really good fluctuations. We made a ton of coins yesterday. I know a lot of you guys did as well on TOTS cards, on fluctuations and flipping. De Bruyne bought for 1.1, sold for 1.2. A lot of center backs got hurt bad because of the Thiago Silva. Marquinhos bought at 470 and 480, sold for 590. Um, there's the Taram, the Oop Makanos. I bought this Bruno for 1.09. This was my biggest loss yesterday because I bought Phil Foden last night thinking he wasn't in Ultimate Tots. He was. So we bought this for 1.17, sold it for 910K, 300,000 coin loss. But we made it up from all the other flips that we had and the other profits that we made. It was a good day overall yesterday because, again, we kind of worked inside of that time frame that we knew was going to be good, right? We knew that cards were going to peak in that two to three hour range after content drop as everybody was going and playing the weekend league and getting those games in. So I would still be worried about these Tots Moments cards and say that you don't want to hold on to them too long because now there is going to start to be some more packs that come out probably via the store and maybe even some SBCs. I doubt it for SBCs, but mostly store packs that is going to start supplying those cards more tradable on the market. And of course, with Ultimate Tots cards being as cheap as they are, it's going to bring prices down. So today on Saturday, one last word for Ultimate Tots prices. There's going to be fluctuations. I was even just looking at Harry Kane. Haven't used this card yet. Really want to try out Harry Kane team of the season, right? 1.07. He's probably going to be under a million coins today. Could he go back up to like 1.15? Yeah, it's possible. You could see some fluctuations and you could see some prices go up. Like Messi, bro. I can afford Messi. He's 4.2 <clears throat> 4 million coins. That is insanely low. He was 6 point something just two days ago, right? So like, this is a card that I would love to try out, but I'm not going to buy just yet because I know the prices are going to go a little bit lower. So just be careful with those. A few fluctuations up this morning and then coming down further after content as well. Also, because if EA dropped the 750K store pack today, that's going to supply these cards more tradable on the market too. Guys, I know store packs are not a fun thing to talk about, especially as we're not supporting them, but I'm just telling you, that if a pack like that gets released today, like it has been every single Saturday throughout the entirety of team of the season, people are going to want to open it today because they're going to try to pack these insane cards and it's going to supply them on the market. So that's one thing to watch out for. And another reason why I'll be staying away from ultimate Todd's cards today on this game. Now let's talk about today, Saturday content, because we're getting the end of an era SBCs, right? We got two yesterday. 
there's two big German players who are expected to be end of an era or flashback SBC soon, and they both are playing in the big game today. This tweet right here, and maybe I'm reading into it a little bit, it's a little cryptic for me, guys, because check this out. FIFA Trading Romania, who's the one who leaked this all in the first place, right, says tomorrow will be insane with two Bombazo emojis. We had two end of an era SBCs yesterday, both Brazilians. Are we getting two end of an era SBCs today, both Germans, Cruz, and Royce? If EA did that, that would be elite. If they're both good SBCs like yesterday's end of an eras were, that would be insane. That feels like the highest of the expectations, the best of all the worlds, right? I don't know if that's going to happen. I'm not going to say I'm going to expect that, but it, it's hinting at something like that. Maybe. I don't know, guys. Regardless, Cruz and Royce are probably getting SBCs at some point. And when slash if they do, they're going to be hyped because those are two massive players. Watch your German links. I was trying to think of like some German cards that would maybe go up in price because if you actually take a look at some Brazilians, um, one card that I just noticed a little bit ago that's actually moving a bunch in price is like Cafu. Uh, Cafu's icon cards, uh, as my menus are glitching out, which is lovely, uh, Cafu's cards are going up big time on the market because of those links to the Brazilian Felipe Anderson and to, of course, um, the Thiago Silva as well. So maybe watch your like German cards a little bit. Rudiger was one that came to mind. It would be a direct link to Tony Cruz, like a perfect link. And he would also link to Royce. And uh, I know that we had the SBC yesterday for center backs uh, made, that made center backs drop for Thiago Silva, right? He was down from 700 to 595. But that's the sort of thing you could watch out for today. And maybe you see some prices moving upward. I'm not telling you to invest, just telling you to speculate a little bit. If we get one or both of those end of an era today, it'd be sick. Regardless, we're getting an end of an era today because they're daily SBCs or a flashback, one or the other. That is going to be coming today as well as a new upgrade pack. Saturdays have been upgrade pack days. 84.7 expires, goes away. Those were actually pretty decent. I had like six or seven of those yesterday. And I think I packed two of my team of the seasons from the 84 sevens. I don't know what we're getting today. I think last time we had the 84 seven, the 86 double followed. I'm okay with an 86 double if the requirements are right. And if they give us another upgrade pack too, because the 86 double by itself is not good enough, not enough players, not enough fodder, but it has the higher rated aspect to it. So maybe 8310, if they re-release the 847, thumbs up from me, I would absolutely love that. But some other sort of upgrade pack is gonna come out today. Maybe it will require informs only, but it probably won't. So I do think informs would probably come back down in price after they did spike yesterday as people were running to complete those 80, Four times sevens for the last time. And team leaks are how much right now? Are they like 35K? 32K it looks like. So I would probably sell those if you had any of those in your club tradable. Uh, and then other TOTS upgrade, guys. That's another thing that I really want to mention. Like the live TOTS upgrade yesterday. And this is something to look out for all week long. Every single day, we could get a new upgrade pack, right? That is team of the season related. Maybe they save it more for like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. But um, TOTS player picks, TOTS upgrades of any different sort they could be released like packs we've had already um new packs and player picks that's why i really want you guys to get stocked up on some fodder as well i want to talk about that at this point in the video because fodder for 85s minimum price it is worth a club stock of 85s at minimum price because those have been commonly required for those sorts of lower tier lower quality upgrade packs but then anything from 85 all the way up to 90, I think is a good club stock. Guys, 88s yesterday, we were talking about this on stream. I was buying some randomly and putting them on my transfer list. These cards were 7K. 6.9K for 88s was an absolute freaking steal. I still think that these cards at like 7.5K are good investments. They've been going to like 11,000 coins almost every single week. Last week, they went from 8K, boom, to 11. Uh, sorry, two weeks ago. That was, Last week, they go from 8K again on Friday, the same sort of time frame. 7.8k boom 11k on tuesday wednesday 88s have been doing very well recently we're getting a bunch of player SBCs. we're gonna get a bunch of upgrade packs i think it is worth your time to at least just go through and buy some 84s five six sevens and eights in your club get them there get them ready to go just because we're gonna have a lot of SBCs this week player SBC wise 
and upgrade pack wise. And you're going to want to be prepared because it's ultimate tots and everybody's going to want to do those SBCs. So that is one thing I want to tell you guys to do. I randomly went out and bought like, I don't know, maybe 10 or 20, probably more like 10 to 15 of these 88s for like under 7,000 coins, not really to make coins, just to be like, okay, I've got these here ready for some SBCs this week. If you do want to make a couple K a card, I guess you could have done that as well. The bids are still very good. If you want to get in on fodder and you want to get a mat, like a mass quantity amount bids during those uh, store packs, the lightning rounds that'll be dropped today at content on a Saturday, even during champions league, hop on the phone app and be bidding. If you're watching the game, you know, that's a little bit of a rat tactic, but you could do that as well. Get some fodder in the club and get prepared for that. Other thing is in terms of fodder, Tots cards are rising. They never really dropped yesterday. I was hoping that they would uh, for us to get an opportunity to get involved, but Tots cards are now on 30K. Wow. Tots cards are 32,000 coins a piece. That is crazy. Um, I mean, wow, that's up a ton. EA is going to have to start supplying those tradable too, but you know how it goes with Tots cards, guys. Sometimes, like last year, they go to 60K per Tots, which is ridiculous. Um, but EA is going to have to drop some Tots upgrade packs for us to be able to get those cards, kind of like they do with the Team of the Player pick. They're going to have to uh, drop some packs like that as well because that price is getting a little bit out of hand. So we'll see what they do about that and hopefully give us some opportunities to get some Tots cards without breaking the bank so last thing i want to talk about in the video today is uh well ea fifa direct just tweeted and said we are aware some users are unable to sign in at the moment so xbox is having some issues probably are not going to extend weekend league to be completely honest because they haven't done that during the entirety of team of the season when servers have gone down last thing to mention is that our icon sbc for the um ecl finals winner johnny EA actually providing some communication on this. The fine print is the winner will pick one of the following icons. So, you know, it sound, they made it sound like the winner gets to pick whatever icon they want and it gets dropped. There's a list. Larson, Yashin, Roy Keane, Eto, Essien, Rush, Drogba, or Best. And the pro player Johnny will fine tune the player's stats. Moral of the story is... We're hoping he either picks Drogba or Eto. Eto doesn't have a single special card this entire game. Kind of hoping that he picks Eto, but I feel like a lot of us assume he's going to pick Drogba. And I think the community kind of hopes that he picks Drogba as well, just because of Drogba, how overpowered he is. That Golazo version, almost every pro was using him in that event. That SBC has not been announced yet. It's just been teased basically it'll be leaked before the SBC is dropped of who wins it was leaked last year it's going to be leaked this year as well but that is one thing I wanted to mention because that was one of the um, you know news pieces from yesterday that we will have to be watching out for soon on this game guys be careful buying any ultimate tots cards the market's going to continue to drop as uh, people are wanting to use these players and they're selling their other cards that they have to go ahead and fund buying these ultimate tots cards that are dirt cheap but best of luck with foot champs today because i'm hearing i've seen some good sets of rewards on twitter i've also seen some pretty bad ones but uh we are going to take our talents to the weekend league with the new tiago silva and felipe anderson and see if we can get ourselves some 12 13 maybe 14 if we have a really good weekend win rewards all the while trying to make some coins and uh at least a chance at packing some ultimate tots cards so let me know down in the comments what you enjoyed the most about ultimate team of the season and what might keep you enjoying this game for the next couple of days again remember guys it's going to go from one thing to the next we've had seven weeks of tots now we're going to go straight into euros content i imagine right after this because today's the beginning of june enjoy the champions league final today and i will see you guys in a video tomorrow it's been nathan for the count see you guys there peace out